Hey guys, welcome back to Vince Bell Customs, and today we're going to continue working on our sponsored video series from Garage Kits US Stock Colors on their Herica Fire Elemental Kit. Now, in this video, we're going to focus on the hair and jewelry. The hair is a little bit tricky only because I want to go more of a dirty blonde, and the jewelry I really would like to do a really bright silver, but the only problem is, is trying to do something like outclads or other paints. The jewelry is very small on the item, so I really want to make a pot without having to go with crazy gloss coats like gloss black and doing outclads and stuff like that. And uh, if you use like chrome silver paint, sometimes they're very dull, so I don't want to go with like that patina look. I really want to make it shine as much as I can. So we have some other stuff we'll kind of go over, but uh, we'll get a little bit closer. We'll go over how I'm going to paint up the hair because I think it's better to do the hair first and then the jewelry, only because the stuff that I want to do the jewelry with takes a long time to cure. It's not something that actually cures overnight because it's more of an ink and I really want to make sure it's sealed up before I actually handle anything. So I think it's better to do the hair first, then the jewelry, and then pretty much the figure is almost pretty much done with any little touch-ups here and there and then uh, actually we can start focusing on the base. Okay, so I'm going to start painting up the hair. Now I really want to go with, uh, you know, like a very dirty blonde hair and if you look on Google Images and stuff when you look up dirty blonde or platinum blonde, You'll notice that it's more white, it's more kind of like flesh tone looks, it's more like uh, beiges and browns than actually very harsh yellows. And that's what we want to stay away from, very harsh yellows. So the colors I'll be using is kind of like a beige off white here. We have the bright yellow which is always like a drop here and there just to make stuff look a little bit more mustardy looking or like off white yellowish. So you never really use that straight out of the bottle, it's always mixing in with other colors. We have Garage Kids Flesh Tone. Now, I, I find that the Garage Kids Flesh Tone mixed with a drop of this white gives you a good base color. It's not very harsh yellow, but it's got that yellow tint in it, and it's kind of like whitish yellow, off yellow, so it's kind of good to go. We have Raw Sienna. We also have another Raw Sienna with different mixture. We have Burnt Umber. So these are kind of the colors I'll be using for the start. Now, I might go in with other colors and mixes as we go, depending on how or whatever I need to change. It also be going back and forth where once the head is masked up, I'll be airbrushing, I'll be using some paintbrush work for streaks here and there, I'll go back to airbrushing and back and forth till I get it to where I want it. Now I didn't do the jewelry yet only because uh, we're going to be using a different type of paint for the jewelry. Uh, I find that it'd probably be better to do that at the end and instead, instead of the beginning only because this stuff takes a while to dry. Plus. It doesn't really work well with any sealers or fingerprints. So it's something like once you paint it on the item, you got to really stay away from touching those stuff until it really cures up. So the ink I think I'm going to use and we're going to experiment and hopefully it works out is this Molotow liquid chrome stuff. Uh, it's kind of like an ink that goes through like a uh, marker. But I've seen people and stuff use this for on statues. So it works out pretty well. It's a really strong, potent uh, so you can kind of see it's got like a really bright chrome silver to it. It's really good But I find that if you paint it on an item It takes a long time for it to cure plus I, I tested on an item where I put it on something and I let it sit there uh, For like two three weeks and I went to touch it and it still kind of reacted to my fingers on the item So it's kind of like I don't know if I'm really want to do it yet or if I might as well just say hey Let's go ahead and do it. So maybe I'll do a test, you know, maybe I'll put a little bit of a drop over here and maybe what we'll do is we'll let it sit up and test and then come back in a couple days and see how well it cures up. Uh, it goes well through a, uh, you know, a paintbrush and it also goes through an airbrush, no problem. But like I said, it's kind of one of those things where I'm not sure how well it's going to cure up. And if I find that it's going to be too much of a hassle, then I'll just go on to some chrome paint. It's just one of those things you got to experiment and try and see if you like it. And it's always good to try it on an item in like a safe spot. So like I said, what we'll do is we'll kind of... Maybe hit a spot here now real quick and we'll let it set up while I'm doing the hair today and then it could come back maybe tomorrow or whatever and then all of a sudden I could see well, okay it's going to work or it's not going to work. Plus this stuff is like an ink so it could run on me too. That's the other thing I'm kind of concerned about because these little pieces have some points and stuff around her arms. Like if I put too much on there, it might bleed and then that if that chrome stuff bleeds, then you're in a world of a nightmare. So yeah, it's one of those things we're going to have to experiment and see how well it works out. But for now, I'm going to get this head masked up, and what we'll do is start working on All right, it. So before I even mask up the hair, I figured it would be a good chance to just do a little bit of a test. So you can see, it comes out pretty shiny. And what I'm going to do is just kind of hit this area like so. So very, very shiny, very chromey looking, as you can kind of see. 
There we go. So you kind of see it's really shiny, really chrome looking, really hits the light. So, I mean, that looks great, but like I said, I don't know how well it's going to cure up. Uh, you know, it does, uh, it's kind of like an ink, so you probably will need like, you know, um, some kind of brush cleaner, like a nail polish remover or something. So it goes on very, very well. So I can also probably hit a little bit over here. So, I mean, it's really chromey looking, so it's kind of cool looking. So I think uh, what we'll do is we'll let that just sit up for a while. Uh, for like a day or so, we'll come back, we'll do a little test and see how it works. If I feel that it's going to be uh, safe to go ahead and do the whole thing, I can run with it. Now, like I said, you can go through an airbrush, but I think this stuff is so, like, it goes on so well that you might not even need an airbrush. But the problem is it dries up really fast, so my paintbrush is kind of like almost caked up already because it's kind of like an inkish and it dries it dries and thick but like i said you still get a reaction to it but let's this is sit up for a while we'll see how this works out for a day or two but let's get back onto the air Okay, so as you saw, I just kept blending and airbrushing, blending and airbrushing just to get this uh, detail and bring out the hair as much as possible. So I want to make it pop just a little bit more, but not go overboard. If I throw any more yellow into it, what's going to happen is it's going to turn into like comic book really bright yellow hair. If I throw any more really crazy highlights into it, like whites and stuff, it's going to turn more platinum hair. So right now, I kind of want to just stay where it's at. So I want to make it just kind of shine a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to water down some Createx uh, metallic gold paint and just do a, like, a little misting, give it a little bit of a pearl, gold, just a little bit, and then I'm going to flatten it down. So that should help kind of make it a little bit shiny and help bring out some more stuff. But I think what I might do is once I do that, then it'll give me a better idea if I need to do just like a white highlight going across here just to make this part kind of pop a little bit more. Uh, because if I keep... Uh, doing highlights and then I dull it down highlights and dull it down I'm not really bringing anything out so I just kind of want to make it pop a little bit more play with the paint a little bit and have some fun so I'm gonna, like I said I'm going to water down some of that uh, metallic gold do a little bit of misting dull it back down and then I'll see where I need to do any more highlights to really pump the hair and push it out a little bit more 
Okay, so since I watered down that metallic gold uh, pearl eyes from Createx, like I really watered it down. When I say I watered it down, I mean it's very like, like just by misting it there, you can see how much like this uh, makes the hair a little bit silky. So it's very tricky to do it and you can't go overboard. If you go overboard, you just make it look metallic-y and if you're just spraying water on it, it'll bleed. So you gotta water it down a lot, but spray it far away. So just by adding that little bit of pearl, uh, you know, metallic into it, it makes the hair feel silky now. You still see a lot of your details that, uh, you know, that I painted in, but it makes the hair feel silky now. Like, you know, when you watch those commercials for, you know, hair colors or, you know, shampoos, that's kind of what the hair feels like now. So it's not overpowered yellow. It's not like a platinum hair, but it's not, you know, uh, it's kind of feels more of that dirty blonde, but shiny look. So... What I'm going to do now is going to kind of look at it a little bit more. What I might do just for this, just to kind of make it pop a little bit more, like I said, I'm going to water down either some white paint or some white yellowish paint with a little bit of a pearl white, but really water it down and maybe just do a little bit of highlights right around here and then maybe over here, make it pop a little more. And then I'm going to dull this back down with some, uh, you know, uh, Garage Kit flat top coat, really dull it back down because I don't want it to be too shiny but I wanted to make it pop just a little bit more. Okay, so off camera, there was a little bit of a spot that I must have missed when, uh, you know, prepping up the kit, so I went back in and I fixed that up. So at this point right now, it's, I'm actually happy with where it's at, but I just want to add a little bit extra, just a little bit. So, in this area in here, I just did a little bit of a test of adding some uh, gold toner into this area here so it makes it pop a little bit more but it doesn't make it super orangey or red it just gives it a little bit in there so i'm going to just do a little bit of gold toner in some areas not much just some shading areas just to make it kind of pop a little bit more and i think after that that's about it for the hair it's kind of exactly where i wanted it to be All right, so I pulled off all the masking. I looked around some of the edges. I might have to do some cleaning up here and there, but I'm going to let this kind of set up for the night. I don't really want to, you know, push my luck. But other than that, we're looking pretty good. A nice, dirty, blonde hair. It's kind of exactly where I wanted it to be. Uh, pretty much outfit and everything's done with the hands. So the only thing left is the jewelry, pretty much, once I do the touch-ups. I think it's better to do any touch-ups I need to do now before I do the jewelry, because like I said, in a day or two uh, I'll see how this stuff works if it rubs off on my fingers or if it stays good or if it's something where I can actually paint this but actually only touch this part or hand part if I ever have to remove the parts so this way I don't ruin anything so that's just one of those things you have to be careful of but if it works out pretty well that's going to be really shiny metallic -y, uh, you know uh, basically uh, jewelry for her which is going to look pretty cool but yeah, that's where we're at, and uh, hopefully uh, in another day or two we can get the drill. Okay, so it's been about three days, and uh, looking at this, it's still nice and shiny, so I'm definitely going to go ahead and use this Molotow uh, Liquid Chrome. Uh, but if you do rub your finger around it, it sort of gets a little bit of a shine on your finger, but nothing major. But your finger oils will dull that down, so that's one of those things you got to be mindful about. So we could chrome this all up, but the problem is we're just going to have to hold her from these areas here and on the arm. So I can never grab it from here. So uh, the other thing too is if you use a paintbrush on this stuff, your paintbrush dries up fairly fast. It's like alcohol based. And then this starts to get caked up. So I have like a nail polish remover. So I'll have like three or four brushes next to me. And what I'll do is I'll paint some of this up. That gets clogged up. I'll put it in there. I'll get the next one, paint it up. And then after uh, these are kind of really dried up and dirty, clean them out, dry it up, and then use them again. So it's one of those things you got to kind of go back and forth. It just dries up very fast. It's alcohol-based like ink type stuff. Um, the other thing too is... I decided uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this uh, band that's around her arm like maybe like some kind of a gunmetal silver and then what I'll do is I'll put these uh, little like um, moon uh, shapes in the chrome so I think that'll look kind of cool. Now for the uh, wristband around here after I mask this off and I airbrush it I might have to do a little bit extra trim and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some uh, really fine airbrush work and go around the areas here and sort of kind of do a clear red around the chrome so it looks like these pieces are getting hot like it's getting hot over here and here so I think that will kind of like make that pop a little bit more so that's kind of where we're at with this uh, maybe I, I might do some washes with red too I don't really know 
how that would work. Maybe I could try it on another item. I don't know. We'll see. But I think the edging you know, right would kind of look pretty cool getting all real hot. So uh, we're going to, right now what we'll do is we'll mask this up. We'll do the two bands on the arms. We'll get those nice and smoothed out. Then once that's dry, we'll start doing uh, this piece and then we'll start doing all these. I think uh, I got to be strategic about this. I can't like do this area here to mask it off and mess it up. And then I can't do this area. So I got to kind of figure out what's going to do first. And then we also have her rings too, which I got to do in this uh, chrome as well, which will be last. So this is kind of a little bit tricky without ruining any of it. So uh, we'll probably have to do like one or two pieces a day. The next day, do some more and keep going until it's done. Okay, so I added some heat to her bracelets a little bit. Uh, I did a little bit of drops of like red orange in the areas between there to make it look like it's hot underneath those areas. So that makes it pop up a little bit more. I did her bracelets uh, well, her arm guards around here. Still got a little bit more touching up to do, but I have to like let it cure up for a little bit before I try to clean up those areas. But I like the way it looks around her arms now. Now the last step I'm going to do is I'm going to add some clear red around the gems on her uh, necklace and also on her part of the dress there. Uh, I think once I add a little bit of like a reddish uh, gems in there it should come together. And after that it's a matter of touch up. So you could go over your items, see if you need any lines cleaned up, any other areas need cleaned up. Maybe you put like a, a mark on an area where you got to touch it up or maybe you've actually like got a little dab of paint on something you got to kind of clean up. So it's always good to go over your item at the very end. So uh, one of the last steps after I do that and the jewelry kind of cures up, what we'll do is we'll probably add a decal eye for her le uh, left eye here. I'll gloss up her lips and the figure should be pretty much done. And then once I add all that on, we'll go into the photo studio. We'll show a nice pic of her with better lighting, go over everything. And then after that, we just got to start focusing on the base. <laughs> 